Prasad. This auditorium seats 7,500 people. You have thousands and thousands of teenagers before you. They come from all across America, Mexico, Canada, and other parts of the world. We have them from China here, we have them from Africa. What's your message to these young people in their teen years? What's your message to them in America and uh, these other parts of the world? What would you tell them today? First of all, I would like to say that I'm glad that none of you in a situation similar to my situation where I grew up. And please to be grateful uh, for the things that you have now. And when you look at the world, please to have a universal vision. Not only a local vision for you know, what we do next day or next year in our town or in our city, how we see the world. Do we know enough about the conflict in the Middle East? Do we know enough why terrorists are attacking us? Do we know, know enough about the ideology of Islam to educate ourselves and to be productive? Not only put ourselves in a religious box. Yes, reading the Bible is priority number one. Believe in our Lord, but also to be productive. Some of us are the best doctors. Some of us, of, of us are the best teachers. Some of us best mothers, best fathers. To be the best example in every field. In every field and give an example of what we can do as a body of Christ outside of the box of religion. Yes, you, I don't encourage anybody to break the law, but sometimes if we do, and none of us is perfect, we need to understand that we're living on His grace. Amen. And He covered us with His blood. This doesn't mean that we become totally loose um, because we have to be strong. As you see, the enemy is very dangerous and he's trying to destroy us. I want you, uh, of course, to have lots of fun and to enjoy life um, and uh, to enjoy the liberty in this country. This is a great thing without, and to understand also the importance of the free will that God gave us from day one as human uh, beings. And um, to look all, always in a good way toward the others. You know, all humans are uh, God's children and he cries for their situation every day on a daily basis. And we need to see everybody like this without, without just going and forcing Jesus Christ on them. Here is the Bible, you've got to read it. And if they don't accept that, you know, we turn our back and we uh, hate them maybe. Um, as, as you see, uh, it took me six years to recognize Jesus Christ as my Lord. And some people, maybe your neighbor, will take him 10 years, maybe 20 years, maybe forever. Uh, we have to love everybody unconditionally and uh, uh, forgive people who uh, do bad uh, to us. That's a great story, great, great, marvelous story. Is it, what can we do for you? What can, uh, what can we as American Christians here, what can we do for Musab? Uh, the most important thing that really satisfy me is to see the change and the uh, level of awareness of the nature of our enemy. Um, I want you at least, you know, to support what I'm saying. You know, I, I personally don't accept donations. <laughs> and uh, I don't want money to get involved in this. Uh, but a real support will be to trust what I'm saying. You don't have to believe in everything that I said, and you have all the right to question it. But please question it. Please think about it. And when I see the change happening, I will be happy at that, at that moment. Today, I'm still in a war, and I'm, fight, I'm fighting a big fight, I, I, as I told you, against almost everybody. And not because I hate people, you know, I'm talking about love, and I need to just be careful how I do it without hurting anybody, but I have to say the truth the way, the way it is. I would wish that uh, your youth groups, youth director, pastor, if you would uh, lead your youth group to pray for this man. Uh, if you're a thinking person, you can only imagine how Hamas and uh, Palestinians, but in a general sense, those who strongly believe in the Islamic faith, 
they're, they're frightened of this man, and they would love to eliminate him. They would love to rid him. His voice is strong. It's powerful. His testimony is unimpeachable, and his faith in Christ is strong. And uh, let's pray for our brother here that uh, you, you... Excuse me. Can, can, can I add I one more thing would. before we pray, please? Please. I, I, please don't focus on me. You know, if I share with you some of my personal life, probably you will stop believing in me right now. <laughs> I want you please to focus on the Lord. You know, he's our highest example. I am not a hero. I'm ignorant. Nothing. Uh, stupid person that the Lord used. This is how I see myself. And please to keep all your focus on the Lord always because people will disappoint you. I might disappoint you. I, I hope not, but I might disappoint you. So please to keep all the focus on the Lord, not on man.